Could sonar be causing trouble for whales? Marine Sergeant Brian Buckwalter explains that as the Navy prepares for battle at sea, it must also battle in the courtroom. <coughs> It started back in August. Several environmental groups sued the Navy because of training they were doing off the coast of Southern California, saying the Navy's sonar harms marine mammals like whales. Their claim is that the Navy's not following the environmental protection laws. Uh, we got sued under the Endangered Species Act. We got sued under the National Environmental Policy Act. And we got sued under the California Coastal Zone Management Act. We got sued under all of those. On January 3rd, a federal district court issued what is called a tailored preliminary injunction, barring the Navy from using mid-frequency active sonar in its Southern California training area. Navy officials say this restriction prevents the service from conducting necessary training for worldwide operations. So the Navy saw and got, among other things, a presidential exemption, allowing it to continue training. The Navy's Director of Environmental Readiness, Rear Admiral Lawrence Rice, says over the last 40 years there have been no marine mammal incidents in Southern California and that the lawsuit is frivolous. We haven't harmed any marine mammals out here and now you're giving us these training restrictions to what end? We already have a perfect record and you can't get any more perfect than that. Mm -hmm. So we would contend and the facts back us up that hey, the, the Navy's record in Southern California is flawless. We intend to keep it that way with our protective measures, so don't give us a, additional training restrictions when there is no scientific proof, no scientific evidence that they're going to make us any better. Well said at 2,000 meters out. The protective measures Admiral Rice is talking about are 29 different steps the Navy takes to ensure it's not going to harm marine mammals. Measures include extra lookouts using high-powered binoculars, extra training, and a 1,000-meter sonar shutdown zone if an animal enters the area. Since we've been using these protective measures in about mid-2006, uh, approved by the federal regulator, the National Marine Fisheries Service, uh, we've had no marine mammal incidents anywhere in the world. So we're convinced that these 29 protective measures work. Admiral Rice says even though the Navy is currently training the way it wants to, with its own protective measures in place, the legal battle isn't over. A federal court judge is expected to make a ruling in the next few days on whether or not President Bush's exemption is constitutional. Marine Sergeant Brian Buckwalter, Pentagon Channel News.